morning. Just heading out for my class. We just had a discussion with the speaker that came where um, we read her papers this week and this was last week. So we were able to just actually talk to her about the science behind the paper. So that was really interesting. She uh, she was actually kind of facilitating a lot of the questions, which we weren't sure how that was going to go. If we would facilitate questions or if she was going to do it. And the first question came up and it was me. Which was kind of embarrassing because I'm one of the ones that's supposed to be prepared to facilitate the discussion. She asked a question that I just froze up on and I was like, I don't know. It was like, why do we use this construct versus another one? And the other option isn't mentioned in the paper. We discussed it last week, but I um, had interested the in depth. Why would you use this one over that one? I was kind of hung up on like, so which one was which construct and how do they work? And so not able to get through that to answer the question. Really wish I would have been able to like draw it out. Maybe I should have talked it through. Like, okay, this construct is this, this construct is that. And for you guys who aren't in science, the construct is like using different genes and combinations to get some kind of output. So you construct all these genes together to be able to indicate something. Anyway, it was a lot of fun to get someone's perspective in the field. Who's, um, you know, this is her paper, so we were asking her, why did she do this? What does she mean by that? And it was a really, really uh, unique experience. I'm really looking forward to the next couple of weeks where we do this again with people. Emory has this issue with, they're trying to pack as many parking spots as they can into a parking lot. And so in order to do that, they make sections where it's like small car parking. The majority of the parking spots are small car parking, and you need to find a spot, and you're trying not to find one too high up, so I've been parking in these sections where it's small car. My car is not that big. There's bigger cars that park in these sections, but check this out. It's like hard, really hard to get in. That's tight. Ugh. So, my philosophy is, I parked next to these poles, so on this side I can't get a door dink. And you know that a driver is going to have to get out of their car. So, you've got a really good chance of, um, you know, the door on someone's driver's side is going to be opened. But if you park where the passenger side is next to your car, you've got a less, you know, it's less likely that someone's going to be getting out of that passenger side door. And so, it's less likely that you're, they're going to give you a, a door ding. So, a lot of times I'll think through these things. I overthink everything. So I think through these things when I'm parking. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you the frustrations of parking here. It's like, I'm sure this is like door ding central because we're parked so tight in here. But what can you do? We're headed out. Lindsay's birthday is this weekend. And so we are going to go to Ormsby's. I've never been, but I heard it's fun. So we're just headed there now. This was a bad idea. Yeah, they didn't want us on the interstate. They wanted us under the interstate or beside the interstate. They're trying to find their way. It's, uh, it's not working out. We made it! Do you Took want to leave it find like Valerie or something? Um, I can text her. Ta-da! Here it is. Nice. Well, we are deep in the recesses of Ormsby's. They have a back room downstairs, and so they have some reservations, but there's a little spot for us. So, we're just hanging out back here, waiting for people to come. But it seems like it's going to be a really neat place. It's passed a lot of different games and fun stuff to do. So hopefully it'll be a good night. I'm sure it will. I mean, I'm looking forward to playing pool. My dad taught me how to play pool. We have a pool table at home. Well, I don't know if he taught me, but we play a lot. And so we play at home, and so he's always asking me if I ever get to play. And so now I'll actually get a chance to use my skills. We're back. It's 3.30 and we had a great time at Ormsby's. 3.30 a.m. It's 3.30 a.m. by the way. And I don't know, just so many games. There was like shuffleboard, little slidey board table thing, bocce ball, Yeah, we were pool. thinking like shuffleboard, shuffleboard, yeah. but it was like table shuffleboard. Shuffer, shuffleboard. What? And they, and had, table they had board now games. Now I look drunk because you had me She's going. not <laughs> drunk. Yeah. She's just tired. I am very tired. They had board games. They had Jenga. Yeah, they had Jenga. Apples to apples. Lots of different Candyland. stuff. They even had Candyland. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we had a great time. We got to meet a lot of great people from Georgia Tech, so it was fun. But anyway, good night.